Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and uh, 24 hours after the uh, famous bug fixing Tuesday that we should have had. Uh, no updates, but that doesn't mean there's no updates this week. Um, it happens sometimes that the bug fixing updates are later in the week, so we'll be, of course, checking that out if anything happens. Uh, maybe the bug fixing updates are not quite ready yet. But this is the third week, and third week is bug fixes according to the new schedule of Microsoft. So we're going to check that out. If there's anything that shows up, we're going to, of course, uh, talk about it. As for um, something also that a few of you have been asking concerning updates, um, is it always kind of a schedule thing? Well, Microsoft used to send out the bug fixing updates and often in the last week of the month, but they had done a change and they had mentioned that technically Patch Tuesday is the second Tuesday of each month for um, security updates. That has always been, and except for a few times when there was something last minute, that always been pretty much followed. Um, the other thing that is um, maybe, you know, we see it yesterday, less it's it's still a schedule it's still something that they do but maybe not necessarily always on the tuesday but you know during the week is that bug fixing update would they add mention that the bug fixes had started again starting in july because uh, they had stopped for a while so there should be some uh, updates eventually showing up as for version 2004, also the rollout, a lot of you have been asking me, so uh, they um, removed some of the blockers and, you know, you always get the question of, is it safe to update to the latest version or not? And what do I do? One of the things that you should know is that if it shows up in Windows Update, I've said it many times, it's technically safe to update. A lot of people are on the impression that, well, I'll update and I'll have one of those problems that they talk about. If, if you are in a version that could have a problem like that, you are not seeing the update. They are not pushing it. Any of the known issues that Microsoft has is not, um, you know, it doesn't show up. If you have the possibility of getting that problem, it's not showing up for you. So if it's in Windows Update, it's because no update blockers are there for you. And the AI, the artificial intelligence system that Microsoft uses, kind of thinks that you're okay with the updates. So there's that possibility. That said, you know, when you ask a question of should I update, if your PC works fine and you don't care about an update like that, you know, leave it alone and you'll have it eventually. There is, I'll repeat it, I've said it so many times, no, um, you know, groundbreaking feature that's so fantastic that you want to move to 2004. This is an update. It's a feature update. If you update now, you'll be okay for more than a year before it starts bugging you with a new update. That's the positive side. Uh, but for the rest, if you're on, you know, 1909, um, you like you know you can stay on 1909 and that's it uh one of the things also is uh that 1809 is accelerating in its update process to um the may 2020 update but there's not a lot of people on the uh, 1809 so you know there's there were like five or six percent there only most of you are in the uh, you know 1903 1909 um, a couple of you have been asking me about 1903. When will that be forced upgraded? Well, that is soon to arrive because 1903, the um, first update that uh, arrived in May 2019, is expiring in December. The 18-month cycle is giving it an, a last security update for Patch Tuesday this coming December. We are you know, past mid-August, so I would expect that 1903 is going to start being pushed to version 2004 very soon if it did, if they don't do it already, because you are, um, you know, nearing the end of support for your version. 
So that will happen in the next month, month and a half probably, uh, if it's not already started. So um, when you get to the end, there's no choice. You don't have any choice. You have to move on. And uh, that's the way it works. Um, and last but not least, once again, a lot of people asking me, so if next year there's one updated year, is that going to change the schedule? Well, we have no idea yet. Uh, Microsoft is very secretive about what's happening with that, which is dumb, honestly, because we should all know what's happening. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.